Planned Parenthood is the place I was supposed to be. This is what I was born to do. I've always wanted to work with people and help people and make their lives better or even have some type of important impact in their daily routine. Even if it's just changing um, one patient um, who comes into our centers uh, to um, give them the care that they're needing, those are ripples of hope that we're providing to that patient but the community as a whole. There are so many people who don't seek medical care because they don't have insurance or not, or not enough money to be seen by a provider. And that really doesn't matter when you come to Planned Parenthood. Um, we'll see you, you know, whether you have a dollar in your pocket or a million dollars in your pocket. Um, so we provide awesome care to any and everyone, no matter what your financial state is in a very poor county um, that doesn't have a lot of resources. A patient came in, she got her yearly exam done, pap done, turns out that she had cancer. Um, just a week later that um, we had diagnosed her with cancer, her sister came in and said, I haven't had a pap before, I'm really scared. My sister was here last week and got some bad news. Um, but we were able to be there for that family and actually uh, be the first type of health care that they've been able to get in over a decade. 13 years ago, I moved to the United States. And like many other immigrants, I didn't have health insurance. But I had dreams, I had goals. I did not want to get pregnant right away, but I couldn't afford $120 per month for a pack of pills. The only health care provider that was able to help me was Planned Parenthood. Thanks to Planned Parenthood, I finished college and I became a mother when I was ready to become a mother. Every time I teach a girl about birth control, I see myself 13 years ago. And working for Planned Parenthood gives me the opportunity to give back to an organization that did so much for me. And I know Planned Parenthood will be there for my daughter too. I don't think of Planned Parenthood as a safety net just in terms of those who can't afford other care, but we're a safety net in terms of judgment. I've just had a patient on Tuesday that um, came in and told me that she was specifically coming here to Planned Parenthood, even though she had private insurance and a general practitioner already, uh, because she felt less awkward with us and she felt like she could actually open up to us about these issues that she's having. And that's not an uncommon story. A lot of people do that. Um, and I feel very proud to be someone that my patients can trust and actually open up to. What I have found in working in abortion care is that seeking abortion is not only for our patients themselves, but it's often for the children they already have or the children they want to have in the future. And when women hear that it actually can be a caring decision, um, they're a little bit more gentle with themselves. We screen a lot of people for intimate partner violence um, and sometimes Planned Parenthood is a safe place uh, for people to actually tell their story and what happened to them. A 13 year old patient came in and um, she was saying how she was sexually abused and still was seeing that person and I was the first person she ever told. It almost brought me to tears because of seeing someone so young go through something so traumatic and her being able to trust me um, and me being the first person to ever hear her story, um, it kind of brought me on a deeper level and connection with this patient. We were able to get her a safe place to go. She was so happy and uh, she felt so safe that she didn't have to see this person anymore. So it made me feel really great um, and it kind of touched my heart and from that point on, like, I just realized how it really can change someone's life and actually help them. You know, every day that our doors are open, um, we're allowed an opportunity to change someone's life. That is why I come to work. That is why I like working for Planned Parenthood, because whether you're just here to cry, or somebody to talk to, or somebody just to tell you the truth, that's what I'm here for. 
that's my job.